All right, next talk is going to be, uh, I believe, by Brian Lamacchia, who's going to tell us about secure verification of delegated presentation delivery. Oh, am I not on? OK, good. All right, so this is work by John, Tamsin, and Nico. They couldn't be here tonight, so they asked me over the weekend if I would come and present their talk for them. And I said, yes, of course, and then they submitted the talk. So the title of this talk is Secure Verification of Delegated Presentation Delivery. Um, this actually motivates this problem that they couldn't be here tonight, motivates the problem that we want to study. OK, so here's the basic scenario. Alice, Bob, and Charles want to do a funny rump session talk. It's a tradition, and they do one every year, but they can't actually be here to present it. So what do they do? Well, they outsource it to an untrustworthy party to present. <laughs> OK, so that leads to a verification issue, which is how do you verify that your delegation occurred and delivered a humorous and tamper, you know, a talk in a humorous and tamper evident fashion? All the jokes have to be delivered as required, and the audience has to laugh in all the right places and not any of the wrong places. So they polled themselves, whoops, and tried to come up with a solution for how to do this, and everybody had a slightly different proposal for how to solve this problem. Charles suggested using a hardware security module. <laughs> Bob suggested using a web of trust. Alice just said, why don't you just go ask somebody who's there, you know, whether it was funny or not. So they couldn't really agree, and so they decided to try a hybrid solution of asking a web of trusted security modules. <laughs> You'd think this might have worked, but it failed because secure devices really have no sense of humor at all. So they decided to apply cryptography to the problem, and they decided first to try bi-deniable homomorphic encryption. <laughs> now you know about fully homomorphic encryption, and you know about somewhat homomorphic encryption. You may not know about bi-deniable homomorphic encryption. This is where either party can prove the other party did get the joke. <laughs> but they couldn't really figure out how to do that, so they decided that they would try secure multi-party computation, because they have a lot of parties here to do computation, and they could distribute the work to determine it's funny from several participants. But that itself also has some problems, because it's not secure against collusion, or everyone denying everything completely. And also, we don't really have a finite formula for determining whether something is funny. So what they decided to do was something that we actually saw earlier in the talk on Monday, was to use a time lock puzzle as the solution for how to deliver the content. So the humorous content of this talk will be delivered at a later date. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>